Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Brad Nelson here, and today we're going to be playing Eduardo dos Santos Vieira. Tell me how much I butchered that. I know him as Lixos, uh, Magic Online Grinder. I'm going to be playing his Abzan Whip deck from the GP he just won like two days ago. I uh, got back from Nashville earlier this evening and uh, recorded a daily with this awesome deck. Uh, now, this deck and the deck that ended up winning the Open are both very interesting. And I would have played the one from the Open, but I've always been wanting an excuse to play Abzan. But none of the deck, the deck list excited me. So this is the first place I want to start. Like, this deck has Soul of Theros. Like, look at this thing. This card looks unbelievable. Uh, I can't wait to give it a chance. Um, I've always thought it was, like, decent, but in a deck with Whip and, like, some graveyard interaction, it just seems awesome. Like, along with Hornet Queen, if this is in your graveyard, Hornet Queen deals 15 damage, uh, which is just totally impressive, right? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage. 16 damage. Uh, which is great. Like, you just have one in your graveyard, and it threatens 16 damage if you play a Hornet Queen. Uh, that seems awesome to me. So, um... But pretty much this is just another Obzon variant that is good against Obzon and Jeskai decks. Whip has been phenomenal against the grindy Obzon decks, and the lifelink is really good against Jeskai. Uh, the deck has a probably tough matchup against um, a Mono Green Devotion or the Green Devotion decks. Um, but for the most part, I like where this is going. Instead of playing Downfall, you play two Banish Lights because you have to commune with the gods along with like Doomwake Giant and Eidolon. And now a lot of these numbers, I don't know if I would change them yet or where I'm going to go, but uh, I'm just playing his main deck with a couple sideboard uh, changes. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, what you'll see is we have one Glare of Heresy, but he had that, and I'm, I'm sticking with that. The, the fourth whip, I'm not sure about. One Reclamation Stage, I think should be two in case the mirror gets more popular, but obviously he didn't care about that. Three drones that I uh, totally believe in. Two of the Thought Seizes, I'm, I, I think you want. The third one, I don't know yet. Uh, four Fleece Mains, you gotta sell me on these. I don't think they're that good. I'd much rather like turn them into different utility cards. Like one fleece main becomes a fourth drown in sorrow, um, and then uh, playing with two doom blasts right now. Um, that's what I'm gonna record the video with. But the, my gut tells me that the deck should probably have two elspeths, two end hostilities, and one doom bless as an anti uh, mid range package. Uh, I think the deck with whips and soul of theros and and Hornet Queens and the Abzan Mirrors is going to be better. Plus, that strategy is just very good against Green Devotion decks. So, I think this deck, much like the Mardu deck and the Red White deck that I played at the Pro Tour and the GP, should have a transitional sideboard into just Wrath Effects, Elspeths, just way grindier games. But I don't think you want them in game one. Uh, I don't think Elspeth is that good right now. It's very good against Devotion, it's okay against Abzan, and it's really bad everywhere else. Um, but I love that this deck doesn't have to worry that much about. The, uh, the Elspeths, because you have three Hornet Queens, you have Doomwake Giants that you can just, like, whip back, and that plus, like, an Elf or a Wayfinder kills the Elspeth on the spot, so they can't really tap out for it if you have Doomwake or, or Whip. Uh, also, just a Doomwake in play is great, so there's another chance that, like, there's a third Doomwake Giant belongs in this deck, or something. Like, uh, I think this is a great s start for this deck, and uh, they ended up playing a deck very similar to this at the Pro Tour, but they missed Soul of Theros. And, uh, I mean, he just won a GP with a deck with three Soul of Theros in it. So anyone that wants to say that uh, this was just luck just has to have a reality check because uh, a deck that looks like this, and this is really why I wanted to play with it, is a deck can't look like this and be bad and win a GP. Like, it just can't. Like, this deck looks like it would have a very tough time winning all the matches in a GP, off of variants, um, or just straight skill alone. Like, yes, he had to play very well, and he is a very good Magic Online player from Brazil, but you can't just get a lot of free wins. It's not like Soul of Theros is like an Elspeth. Like, oh, I played a turn five Soul of Theros and just easily won the game after that, which is true, but if it was bad, he wouldn't do that. So I'm very curious how this deck is going to play out, and I'm glad you guys are here watching. And any suggestions about this deck, let me know, because I got an open this weekend, and I got to figure out what to play. It's, I'm thinking, my head is everywhere. I'm thinking Tom Ross Blue White, uh, Adrian Sullivan Blue Black, um, Lixos' uh, junk deck, that or Obzon deck that we're going to be playing today, as well as the uh, Just Guy Ascendancy combo deck looks awesome. I'm lost. I don't know what to play. I know I'm going to have to put down the red cards, the Goblin Lapis, for a little bit. 
It doesn't feel well positioned right now, but uh, any of these are really good decks and no code to play. So you guys help me in the comments, and I hope you enjoy the videos.